It's time to up the ante with a jam-packed second half of Afro Buzz. And kicking things off, we have a stellar Hollywood talent. Starting his rise to fame on the comedy circuit, there's not many people out there who can boast having co-starred alongside the likes of Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, and the Wyans brothers. But one man who can is the charismatic John Witherspoon. John Witherspoon, absolute pleasure to have you here in London with us at Vox Africa. Thanks Thank for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been fun here. I love London. Woo, it's beautiful here. And you brought good weather with you. You say it's yes. always good weather in London. You've I've only ever known good here. weather. I've never been here when it's raining. It was always this kind of weather when I get here. I grew up watching your movies via my family, belly laughter galore. Maybe some of them I shouldn't even have been watching. But I'm going to put it out there and I hope you take this as a compliment. Right. The best crazy ass dad ever to hit the screen. Does that work for you? I love that. Oh yeah, I'm a crazy ass dad. <laughs> <laughs> and But you know the thing is I ad lib a lot. They let me ad lib. So when I ad lib, I'm being myself. Well, a lot of people have to go with the script. So you can't come up with the funny lines. Uh, but a comic, they should always let a comic ad lib. And that's what we do Fridays, we all ad lib. And Boomerang, we ad lib all these scenes. So that's how I can come up be, be me instead of trying to be uh, Bill Crosby. <laughs> so the magic is completely in that moment. It's just something it's that you go moment. with. Yeah, it's in the moment. Because if you have to go back and do the scene over, you don't know what the hell to say. I'm trying to impress you, you know that. I know it. Yeah. Now, where'd you get the mushroom shirt? I got to know. Well, the secret is you got to coordinate. Uh huh. Most people don't coordinate. See, so you got to coordinate. Yes, that's what you did. Yeah. Huh? Interesting. See, I told you they don't stink when you pull the membrane out. Mama, see, when you saw me, you saw the mushroom I shirt. Said, mushroom shirt. Bang, mushroom shirt. Mushroom shirt. But see, you can't stop with the mushroom shirt. You now, gotta I would, go on. I'd have stopped that no, shirt. No, you got to keep going. What do people make of you when they meet you in person? Are they expecting oh, you to be the characters that they've seen on the screen? Are you like that in real life? Uh, at home I am. <laughs> uh, but people think I'm going to be like uh, 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 Pops on the, on the, on the uh, Wayne Brothers. But you know what? That's good though, because I'm a jovial character and I make people laugh. Even like last night at the hotel I'm at, some little kids were quite crazy. You're, you're the guy from Friday. <laughs> Oh man, little girl but rubbing my hand. Pretty too, I rubbed her arm. <laughs> she rubbed my arm, I rubbed her arm. Beautiful, beautiful. It must be overwhelming though, because you're almost part of black culture. So you've got these roles that you've played throughout yeah. decades now that yeah. people recognize you in. Does that feel like a pleasure? It is good, oh yeah, to be recognized. Oh my God, and every character, I'm being myself. You know, um, somebody was complaining. You're always trying to be yourself. I said, oh, that, that's what the character should be. Even though you say you're playing yourself on screen, do you ever take the opportunity to switch off and relax a little bit? Is there a difference between John Witherspoon, the performer, and the man who is at home? Mm, not really, not really. Because I'm on screen, it's me, mm. you know? And I tell everybody, you, know, you gotta be yourself on screen. You don't, um, you don't try to change up. If I was a doctor, I'd be a crazy doctor. <laughs> I, used to, I used to be a judge because I wasn't uh, popular as an old man, as a cousin and an uncle and a father and, a, and granddad. So I, they used to uh, cast me as a judge, a uh, police officer, those type of straight. A police officer. Play, yeah, straight role, <laughs> me as a police officer. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy but looking say, at you now. Say, you're too funny to be a police officer. Don't act like that. Then I go, well, what can I act like? So that's why they, I got into comedy roles. Yes. Uh, Arthur Williams, Chicago Sun Herald. You've just okayed a $250 million increase in our space program. What I'd like to know is the main reason you did this so we can finally recruit black people for the space program? I feel it's time that black people went to space. Uh, <laughs> white people have been going to space for years. Uh, and spacing out on us, as you might say. You must have some cherished memories. Any favorites that stand out? Well, you know, I used to open for Richard Pryor. And um, like I told you, I didn't make much money. But the fact is, I opened for Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor drew all the... He, every room, every show was packed, sold out. And it's always good to uh, work with a person like that, you know, because people remember that who, in our era, they remember that forever. And I was on the Richard Pryor show for, we were supposed to do 22 shows, we only did four. We got fired. And Richard was getting high. He was getting high <laughs> crazy. Oh man, I'll wait till you come out. Boy, bring your ass off up in here. What you talking about? You wait till I come out. I smelt your sh
But 22 years, now you can't smell mine for five minutes. And shut the door. <clears throat> you need to trade. Take a look at that paper over there on the, the, the counter there. I ain't trying to be no dog catcher. Why not? George Clinton was a dog catcher. No, he wasn't. Sure he was. That's why he said, do the dog catcher, dog catcher. Talking about the Friday franchise, there's yeah. rumors of last Friday. Has that contract come through the door yet? What's happened? Well, uh, no. Uh, and Chris Tucker, I'm, I'm told, is to hold up. He wants uh, more money, a different script or something. I don't know what he wants. But I, don't, I haven't seen him in years. Mm. So I'm hearing hearsay. So, but Chris Tucker is the holder, I'm told. Final question I want to end yeah. with, though. How would you like John Witherspoon to be remembered by the people? As I said, you're part of American black identity as such. You know what I mean? You can walk along the street even here in the UK, oh, yeah. UK across the world, and people recognize you. Yeah. How do you want people to remember you, though? Well, you know, I don't know about all that, how they remember me. You know, that, but he was funny. That's about all. He was naturally funny. You know, I could take a script and read it and then put it down and, uh, and ma manipulate it and make it very, very funny. That's when I get Fridays. Ice Cube give me the script and tell me, go ahead and put your stuff on it. And then I would make it my part funny. I wouldn't make anybody else's part. <laughs> Let them do that themselves. Yeah, they got to work off you. Yeah. yeah, he was an ad lib genius. I would love to have that. If I don't, I'm give a damn. Cool. Well, it's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure to have you in the studio, John. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. And Thank we you. hope that you're going to come and pass by London Town very soon. Oh, yeah. I'll Again. be back. I love it here. Where the camera? I love it here, y'all.